On all these 60s cars, the windshield washer was a floor pump bellows. And the problem with these is that replacement is very expensive. Plus, you still run into the problem of the tube coming out of the bellows. You, you can easily bump it off with your foot and then the tube that goes from the reservoir to the bellows will siphon all the fluid onto your carpet and onto the floor. So what I do to save customers money is to install a later 70s electric pump which can be this style and also this style. Either one will work. On this particular car, I've installed this style right here. It's at a slight angle in order to get the coupling, the electric coupling onto the prongs and avoid rubbing against the wiring harness. To install this, what you want to do first off is pull this out of the reservoir. This was the original one in there. And then lay a cloth on the floor and pull the tubing out of the bellows because there will be some fluid run out. So put a cloth under this. Then determine in and out and also determine plus and negative. It actually is here. You can barely see it. You want to hook it up correctly so that it pumps the right direction. Then remove the two prong and put in a single. These are available from Mercedes. Also in the system, I like to add a quarter inch fuel filter for, for instance, a motorcycle. It's a much larger filter and doesn't get plugged up as often as the little teeny original ones. Then the next step is to mount a push button. And I prefer to mount it just under the edge of the dash so I don't drill any holes in the dash. And hook a ground to the ground and a, uh, a wire from this to a push button and then from the push button to a fuse. Then you have an electric washer that operates by push button. And you want to aim these high on the windshield because driving down the road at 30, 40 miles an hour, the wind will blow it onto the windshield. Rather than drilling a hole in the dash, 
I drilled a hole, or actually enlarged an existing hole, just underneath the edge of the dash. So there's a the little push button.